And now let's learn about the component. Once you understand this, let's talk about now components, all right? Component of a vector in three dimension. Let's say this is x-axis, this is y-axis, and this is z-axis. And I have three points, point one, point two, point three. Let's say this is a point, point b, and point c. And the coordinate of this point a is, let's say, xi, all right? Coordinate of point b is, let's say, yz, and coordinate of c is, let's say, j k okay along with direction this i j cap and k cap gives you the direction as well and x y z represents the magnitude and now i have a point called p which is connected with the origin o and making a vector o p and i want to find out the three component x component y component and z component of this vector o p all right how do we do that so for this i'm going to make a cube like a structure keep in mind that so I made a little construction here and I'm just going to make one more P1 for our easiness, okay? So we want to find out OP, okay? So to find out OP, if you use triangle law, there are so many methods, by the way, you can use uh, by any method. Uh, you can go like this. Let me connect this, all right? You can go by OP1, P1, P2, all right? So in a triangle, uh, OP1, P, OP1 plus P1, P, by the triangle law, you know, if, if two vectors represented by two sides of the triangle taken in order, then the third side represents uh, the resultant and magnitude of those two, you know. So this plus this will result us definitely this one, all right. So according to that now, let's uh, put the values, all right. So what is OP1? OP1 further, if you see, you know, OP1 uh, is uh, OA plus AP1, all right. This is OA plus AP1. It is OA this is OA plus AP1 and P1P you know what is P1P isn't this like OB since this is a cube so this length this length this length this length all will be equal and this is going up and this is also going up so I can say that this is OB all right so OA is you know the the the, the coordinate of OA is XI and coordinate of API let me tell you API isn't this like this one because it's cube so this one and this one is equal so it's j k cap and ob is y j cap let me arrange in x y z form so op we are going to get as x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap and this form of the vector op is called component form component form Sometimes OP uh, you may see represented by R, all right? So whether you're representing by OP or R in three-dimensional way, and that's called component form of a vector, all right? Here you have x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. These are x, y, z coordinate also, all right? And the magnitude of this component form of the vector OP or R is uh, simply given by uh, under root x coordinate square, y coordinate square, z coordinate square. This, uh, you can easily prove it. If you want, then you can just leave in the comment. I will make another video. It's very easy. You know, this is this is the way we write the magnitude of this. And now in this component form, we will now further represent our vector. Like I will, I will represent vector, uh, vector A like, you know, X1, I or uh, Y1, J or like Z, K, you know, something like this. Or, or B will be something like, you know, X2, I, Y2, J or z3 k you know something like this it's, it's one all right so in in such cases we'll be learning addition uh we'll learn subtraction and those all things we're going to discuss in the next video all right